hello guys so in this video we are going to start with the provider but before starting with the provider i will show you how we manage the ephemeral state with the help of set state so here i will show you how the whole screen will be rebuilt again and again even for a single change on ui side then we will shift to provider and there we will see how to manage the global state and then i will show you how it is rendering only required widget on the screen instead of rebuilding the whole screen so let's get started with a simple app go to just home page and i just remove this text and i will add one column here and add children and in this we will be using one circle avatar where i will be displaying one image and then i will be using the text to show let's say the likes okay let's create a dollar likes variable and we can just define it on the top we do it here so i will say int likes equal to zero so initially i keep it zero and this likes i would be displaying over here so since it is const we cannot use variable let's remove this and let's use comma here let's add a couple of properties here let's say radius one to two and just let's use background image and that would be we can take some network image and i just use it from the browser just open this and just copy this and go back here and go down and what we left with so let's save this first of all and you can see the image is coming so if you want you can just decorate it a little bit and what i want i just change the background color to white we just need to add cons here because this is static image and then we can simply say likes that's fine and if you want you can just decorate it like this likes and you can even add the style here if you want so let's go here and just use some space of 10 and just go here and add const and now we need one button here so let's use early weighted button with icon so on press we will define it later on and the icon we can use icon here and that would be icons dot thumbs up so let's simply use const text and simply say like and i just add a const here as well save this and see how it looks okay now if you want you can just change the color of this button as well let's use the style here and we can use elevated button dot styles from and you can simply say background color let's say colors dot blue let's save it so let's use some style here for this text and increase this font size so that we can see it better and you can also make it bold and just add const here and and here save this that's better now what we can do let's just align it to the center and that's fine so what else we need now when i click on this like button it should increment the count one thing so let's increment the count so that is likes plus plus and simply set state just done or you can even wrap this likes plus plus here if you want so that's your choice so let's try to click this and you can see the likes are being incremented 
so I just need a little space between this image and fine okay now what I want let's add one more button here so this time I just add a simple button so go here and just use elevated button and on press I just navigate to some next page so we will do it here and here we can simply use a const text of simply say next page save this okay so what i want when i click on next page i should be able to see the likes on that page so let's quickly create one more screen here with the name next underscore page dot dot so let's say so we can just say stateless widget is next page and here instead of returning the container simply say scaffold and app bar so here we can simply use the title const text this is let's say next page and you can center this as well and let's go to the body part and here i need a center and this child we can simply display likes here so simply a text and use likes and variable dollar likes so what this like says this like should come from the constructor so let's create a final likes and simply say here comma required field that is this dot likes and we can remove this extra imports i think that's done so go back to home page and add the logic on this page so navigator dot you can simply use this push so let's say semicolon here and simply use material page route and in builder you can simply say context and you can simply say next page and here you need to pass the likes so we have an extra bracket if you want you can remove it okay so save this that's all so let's try to click on this next page and you can see the likes are 18 so let me quickly just copy this style from here so that we can see the bigger one in size so just go here add comma and style and that's all so that's fine so here if i increment the like to 22 and go to next page you can see 22 now the main purpose to show it here is just go back here and so i just go to this build and we will cross check that this method is called again and again or not so let's check for k debug mode so if it is in debug mode then you can simply what you can simply print so build you can say execute save this and just clear this so go here and try to click like and you can see the whole screen is built again and again that's why this method is called this line is printed so this method is called this line is printed okay so this is how we manage with the ephemeral state let's quickly jump to the provider so for that we just go to this pub dev and add the dependency of provider so let's copy this go back here in pub spec and go here under dependencies so we can just add it here and just save it so that it can fetch the dependency so once it is done what you need to do the first step is you need to go to main and you need to wrap your material app with provider 
so i just cut this and simply say change notifier provider so here under create we need to just call this arrow function and here you need to provide the provider so we don't have any provider yet so let's quickly create a provider first so we just create a folder pro y does and i will just say let's say home home underscore provider dot da so to create a provider you need to create a class home provider whatever name you want and you need to extend from change notify so this gonna notify for the changes so what we need we need to separate our logic from ui to here so we need to hold global state of likes variable let's take a likes to zero initially so what we want so we want a getter first of all let's create a int get and how do you get likes simply likes and whenever this getter is called we have to return this likes variable okay and the second let's provide a increment behavior void increment or you can say increment like and here what we need to do simply underscore likes plus plus and once you have done something you have done some changes you must have to call one function that is notify listeners so this is gonna notify to the listeners that value has been changed so i just save this this task is completed now we just go back to main and provide there you need to provide your provider so that is home provider okay so once you have provided this provider what next you need to do remove this bracket and we just remove this extra bracket and go here and here we need to use child and here you can paste your material okay so just you need to wrap your material app with change notifier provider and use the create property where you need to use this function with the context and just provide your provider so that's all you have to do here and let's move to the home screen now here what we need we need a provider here so let's go here and simply create a provider here provider variable and to create the provider we have to use provider dot off method and here it will take context and semicolon so this need context so we don't have context here directly so what should you do just take it out from here and go inside your build so here we can use before scaffold define this over here okay so here you will be getting context that's fine so now what you need to do you have your provider instance here now this provider gonna provide the value whatever is given by the provider now whenever you want to get the value change so what you need you need to use the consumer visit so let's use here so let's use a consumer here and simply you can go for consumer and you can see this consumer gonna give you a builder so this builder is basically is a function so which will be taking context value and child so uh, one more thing you can just specify here what kind of provider you are using so home provider okay that's fine now let's cut this text from here and what we need here we need to use that text okay second thing is this value variable from this function gonna give you the value so instead of using this likes variable here we can use this here value dot likes okay 
so from value you can get the likes so this is just a getter that we defined over here in this okay so if this is something else instead of using likes you have to write something else okay so this is done now we don't need this likes variable anymore because we have already defined it under this provider okay so now this time we don't have any business logic in this ui side all of our business logic is over here in this provider okay so this will separate your business logic from ui and here instead of doing this set state delete and simply use provider dot increment so we are not getting this why we are not getting it so i just use this provider here yep let's type it manually and see yep that's fine so let's go and check we are getting some error here so here we are passing this likes so we don't need to pass anything here so simply just go here and just delete this and simply you can write the const here and simply go to this next page and you can remove this and you can remove this as well and we just add the logic here later on let me just delete this and add the const for the time being so we just go back here and we first of all want to check the logic goes well so what we need to do is we just restart the app and check so we got errors here let's stop it and i just provide here home provider and done so let me cross check if i'm not missing anything so we just added this provider and we have already wrapped our main so since we have wrapped it we need to restart it so let's go back and check we are facing any error here let me go here and check increment like it's not likes it's like you can see now it is coming so i forgot to specify the type here in the provider that's why it was not detecting this okay so now it should work let's run it again so now it is working so do what let's try to just increment this and you can see it is showing build executed i just clear this so this time again this whole tree is rebuilt again okay so let's increment it and you can see build is executed so what you need to do one thing we are missing over here you need to add here one more property that is listen so listen you have to define false otherwise it will keep on listening and it will keep on building the whole screen again and again okay so this is false whenever i just click on like button then it will do what it will go to this provider and increment this and notify the consumers that something has been happened something has been changed so go back here and that way the consumer is here which will just update this widget only let's save this again and just clear it and let's try to increment this and this time i just restart quickly okay so i just go here and increment the like and you can see you're not able to see any build again you can just rebuild only particular widget that you want okay so this is one way how you can rebuild a particular widget on the screen and let's move to the second part that how to manage the global state now here i want to use that so what we can do we can simply go to this and copy this line of provider go here under this build simply use this provider over here 
and just import and what you need to do instead of using this likes we can use dollar provider dot likes okay and let's remove this const here and save this so let's go here on the next page and you can see you are getting 31 likes go back here i just increment you can see build method is not called and if i move to next page i'm able to see this 36 so this is how we manage the global state as well and we have done three things over here we have managed the global state we have seen how to use the provider how to separate the business logic from ui side and we have also seen how to rebuild a particular component on the screen a particular widget on the screen instead of rebuilding the whole screen so that's all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section otherwise like and subscribe thank you